We stayed in on a Friday night to watch Letterman and then slept together and didn't have sex. Oh my God, we're in a relationship. You're from Canada. I have been here for almost six years. It's not like I just got off a boat. <laughs> a boat. Oh wait, that is how you say it. It's gonna be positive. Erickson men are hella fertile. When Uncle Morris was 16, he got his girlfriend pregnant just by holding her hand too tight in the backseat of a car. <laughs> now I'm thinking my parents lied to me. Did she seem happy? Did she say anything about me? I don't even care. Where are those almonds? Gosh, where would Ted's nuts be? Hey, why don't you check the vice in Stella's garage? Shh. Go observe. Schmosby! Punchy! 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 Hey, good talking to you, Ted. Yeah, you too. If you're ever in New York. Definitely. <laughs> we are just two peas. Let me make one thing very clear to you. I don't date guys who lie to me. Well, see, I did not know that. My bad. Oh, can somebody please explain to me why the little girl act works on men? What, the long version or the short version? Short version. Short version. Who's your daddy? Oh. Wait a minute, you're gonna date two girls at once? Don't you think you should just choose one before it gets serious? Define serious. Well, that's complicated. I guess you have to weigh expectations, emotional investments. Third base. Serious at third base. She hates me, Marshall, but that's okay because... Never mind. No, uh, what, what, what were you gonna say? I hate your mom. Well, guess what? I hate you! You said that if I slept with you, my son would get the part. Well, apparently I'm a better actor than your kid. Bring in the 11 o'clocks!